Hello, Anil here. Uh, in the previous video lesson, we learned to convert some uh, verbal expression into the algebraic expressions. Uh, I just remember now that uh, I also should uh, tell you, uh, inform you some expressions with exponents. All right. So let's get some basic information on this. Let's say x is a variable, all right, which has been raised to an x uh, to the power of n. All right, x to the nth power. All right. So let me go through the terms and terminologies. You know. So this x is called base, okay, and this n is called exponent, and this whole expression, you know, is called power, okay, and it is read as x to the nth power, all right. Remember that this is read as a x to the nth power. Now this n represents actually the base repeated how many times uh, the factor you know the, the the n represents the number of times this base has been uh, uh, multiplied to itself okay. let's say if I have 2 to the third power okay then it means the base 2 is multiplied by itself as a factor three times okay two times two times two this is what means 2 to the third power okay here 3 is exponent 2 is base and this is whole is called 2 power right uh, you can say 2 power 2 raised to the power 3 or or also people say 2 uh, to the third power right this is the simple information I was trying to inform you all right this kind of uh, v variables and expressions we have to write a lot so let's do a little so here in this table I'm gonna show you some uh, symbols some words and the meaning of that all right based on this exponents and power <laughs> okay so here I have 2 to the first power how we, how how in the words we will write 2 to the first power okay first power and the meaning of this is first that means just one time okay so this will be simply 2 okay now let's go 2 to the second power 2 to the second power you can write s e c o n d like that also okay this means second power means 2 you know this base 2 is uh, multiplied by itself two times okay so it's like two times two okay the factor is two all right now two to the third power two to the third power three times okay two times two times two three times all right now let's say two b to the power four okay two times this means b to the power four and the meaning of this is 2 times b to the power 4 that means b is multiplying with itself 4 times all right the factor is 4 okay so 1 2 3 and 4 all right <laughs> now let's say x to the power n all right x raised to the power 9 x to the power n which means x times x times x da 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 da, da till x so this is how many times n times remember that okay so this x is repeating n number of times this is what means variables raised to the certain powers all right now I'm giving you two example uh, one I will give you the algebraic expression whose uh, verbal expression we have to write and another example I will, I will give you where we'll get the verbal expression and we need to write the algebraic expression okay so the first one 7 m to the power 5 okay how I'm gonna write this verbally I'm gonna write like this 7 times m to the fifth power fifth f i f t h better write f i f t h fifth power I'm very sorry my 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 handwriting is the worst I think ever you have seen and I know you you agree in this <laughs> okay the second one is uh, I'm writing a verbal expression and then you have to think uh, actually I will solve but you have to think first you have to give answer first uh, the algebraic expression okay so the verbal expression is alright so what does this mean the difference of 9 and negative x cubed okay this doesn't look like cubed <laughs> okay so cuba <laughs> so difference of 9 difference represents subtraction you already know difference of 9 and negative x cubed okay x is raised to the third power okay so you can say uh, x to the power 
3 okay so x to the power 3 and this is negative okay remember that so the difference of n and, neg and a negative x cubed all right no problem 9 minus negative x cube okay so this means 9 and do you know that one thing when negative multiplied negative it becomes positive okay so this is going to be 9 x to the power 3 so this is the algebraic expression and that was our verbal expression so this is how you're gonna solve a lot of problem in future okay this is very very important you should be very very perfect uh, in converting the verbal expression into the algebraic and algebraic into the verbal because this is the fundamental of algebra remember that later on the words problem that's gonna eat our brain so that time these things gonna help us to understand the questions very easily you know you have to break the long questions into the small small part okay and from small small part and phrases you have to form small small algebraic expression and then you have to try to understand the complete question you know the future is very tough but you're getting very strong <laughs> right uh, I hope you understand this and I really assume that you're going to subscribe my channel and you're also going to like this video am I right <laughs> right from times, Jed multiplication we need to uh, Jed or G how do you pronounce we, we pronounce here like a cross. Jed okay so G right. so I think uh, you pronounce like G so cross. G Jesus Christ subtracted okay so uh, uh, I think